guys. You now know how to solve the particular matrix. So if you give particular input in the matrix, you will get output of value or value matrix. So here we go. Just open scilab. So I have already made this one. This one, you need know. I'm restoring it. So here we are inputting our point of interest matrix. That input A for animation. You know the for animation. So A, this is my matrix. You can change any value. You can give any input. So you can see three rows, only one rows, means two rows, and four loop will operate for three times. And now you can see the form of elimination A. It means J123. It will change the value, gives the output, and then back with the form. Will give you value of your point of interest x and y. So now we are executing this. So it is asking for outputs. So forward animation. Then click enter. So this is your forward animation. And now you want to see the matrix. So you just Write it and then enter. So this one is for the animation for the operation you put in. And now for knowing the values of your variables, you just write it. Excellent. Do consider that the put in the variables is same as that of your console or remote. So then enter. So this is your x variables values. So how to know the values? So you did write here in your node x1 and x2. So just do that. You do write on the console. X1. If you wanna see the value of x1, so just write x1 and then enter. So this one is your x1 values in the console on the panel paper. And then x2. Thank you for watching. You can do as many as experiments. So this was a two by two matrix. You can do it all for three by three matrix, four by four matrix. That's it. Thank you for watching. This is my experiments.